Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. In today's video, let us solve the example of weighted average cost of capital with book value and market value. This is a topic from financial management. Now, this is the example on the screen. A company has the following specific cost of capital with the indicated book value and market value weights. So these are the type of capitals like equity, preference shares, long term debt. The cost of each capital is 18%, preference shares is 15%, long term debt is 7%. The book value of the equity is 0 0.40, preference shares is 0 0.30, long term debt is 0 0.30 and the market value is equity shares 0 0.58 preference shares 0 0.17 long term debt 0 0.25 now what you have to calculate calculate the weighted average cost of capital second Calculate the weighted average cost of capital using marginal weight. Marginal weight means additional weight. If the company intend to raise the needed funds using 50% long term debt, 35% preferences and 15% retained earning. Okay. So now based on this information, we will calculate the weighted average cost of capital according to book value okay now for solution so first we are calculating weighted average of cost of capital according to book value for this the sources of capital uh, it is given in the question three types of sources of capitals are given that is equity preferences long term debt now weight now weight as per the book value okay so for equity the weight is 0 0.40 for preferences the weight is 0 0.30 long term debt the weight is 0 0.30 so this is given in the question itself just copy as it is now specific cost now specific cost for equity is 18 percent okay then preference shares 15%, long term debt 7%. Okay, so for this, what you have to do for equity, 18% is given. Okay, so 18 divided by 100, we get 0 0.18. Okay, then preference shares 15%. So if we divide it by 100, 15 divided by 100, we get 0 0.15. For long term, 0. 07 okay now we have to calculate weighted average cost so to calculate weighted average cost what we have to do multiply this both 0 0.40 into 0 0.18 okay so weight multiply by specific cost 0. Point, see i will write here 0. 0.40 into 0. 18 so we get 0 0.072 okay in this way you will get the weighted average cost now next for preference share 0 0.30 multiply 0 0.15 0 0.30 into 0 0.15 So, for preferences, the weighted average cost is 0.045. Next, for long term debt, 0.30 into 0.07 is equals to 0.021. Okay. Now, add all these three. 0.072 plus 0.045 plus 0.021 the total we get 0 
okay this is the total now then what will be the weighted average cost of capital according to the book value weight it will be 13.8% 13.8% how did i get 13.8% 0. 138 multiply it by 100 we get 13.8% okay now second now we have got weighted average cost of capital according to book value next we have to calculate weighted average cost of capital according to market value so for market value what is the weight given for equity 0. 0.58 for preferences 0. 0.17 for long term debt 0. 0.25 okay it is given already in the question just copy it as it is for equity it is given 0. 0.58 for preferences 0. 0.17 then for long term 0. 0.25 now specific cost will remain as it is for market value also 0 0.18 0 0.15 0 0.07 okay see market value weight we have written here now for this for weighted average cost according to market value same as we did for book value multiply it 0 0.58 into 0 0.18 we get 0 0.1044 then 0 0.17 into 0 0.17 we get 0 0.0255 for preferences for long term depth 0 0.25 into 0 0.07 0 0.0175 now add all these three to total we get 0 0.1474 so weighted average cost of capital according to market value is 14. Point 74 percent okay so i have multiplied it this by 100 0 0.1474 multiplied by 100 we get 14.74 now second we have to calculate weighted average cost of capital using marginal weight okay so for marginal weight is what additional weight for this what they have given the information if the company intend to raise the needed funds using 50 percent of debt long term debt 35 percent preferences and 15 percent retain earning okay so for this calculation of revised cost of capital revised why because it is marginal additional so source of capital here in the question they have given source of capital that is long term debt preferences and retained earning okay so i have written here long term debt preferences and retained earning now what will be the weight weight they have given 15 percent 35 percent and 50 50 percent 35 percent 15 percent so divided by 100 for long term debt it is 50 percent so if we divide it by 100 we get 0 0.50 then for preferences 35 uh, percent so divided by 100 0 0.35 retained earning 15 percent 0 0.50 15 now specific cost will be for long term debt it is what 7 percent 0 0.07 then preferences 0 0.15 percent retained earning means equity okay so 0 0.18 now multiply this to 
जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवेन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव देन नेक्स्ट फॉर प्रेफरेंस है जीरो पॉइंट थर्टी फाइव इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टीन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट एटीन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन नाउ एड ऑल दिस थ्री वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट डबल वन फोर फाइव ओके नाउ वॉट विल बी द रिवाइज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल और वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इट विल बी इलेवन पॉइंट फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ओके सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर फॉर मार्जिनल वेट सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वेटेड एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल विथ बुक वैल्यू एंड मार्केट वैल्यू ओके सो आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस एग्जाम्पल थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो एंड डू नॉट फर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन